Hey everybody, we are uh, here at the Gateway Mall down in Salt Lake City, Utah. Um, today we are going to be doing Dreamscape. <laughs> here. Explain what it is. You explain what it is. <laughs> you explain what it is. I don't know what it is. It's very artistic uh, rooms that they have set up from stuff that they have found, stuff that you wouldn't think you'd normally make art out of. So, yeah, so join us today and let's see what it's about. There are 20 dreams for you today. Rooms and corridors built and designed by local artists, including me. We use recycled, upcycled, repurposed, donated, found, and rescued materials. It's interactive and immersive, so use all of your senses today except taste. And that it's really up to you how to experience dreamscapes. I do have a recommendation. Most people only focus here. You gotta look outside that box or you will miss important things like the boat on the ceiling. About half the people come in here and never notice that. Our artists are sneaky. We like to put things in that not everyone's gonna catch. So if you're curious and even nosy, you may see things your neighbors don't. like specific touches in these rooms um, I've noticed um, like they have these handwritten pages down here that were from a notebook that somebody just somebody wrote these artists are really inventive and creative about the personal touches that they put in um, up on the ceiling throughout this entire room there's all this old music hanging that's uh, from like a self-playing piano It's got all kinds of, it's kind of fun house mirror-ish. Um, they've got some different portholes to look through and see different flower designs. Uh, I'm afraid I'm gonna run into a wall at any minute, but. These, la these uh, umbrellas made, they're actually made from like old slides um, that film.
this room the way the light pulsates, it picks up different different colors in the in the paintings, so it kind of makes it look like the paintings are alive. This room is probably one of my favorites so far, um, but I have a very deep love for the ocean and all of the animals that live in it. It's got a lot of neat things in here to make it look like an underwater display. through here we mentioned the tags and everything it actually looks like they have a pencil and a big bowl of tags that people write messages on and hang them up they've got the string and the pencils so when you come you can actually write your own message and leave it it's called the uh, the Roots Network, I think, was the name of this room. All right, so I actually wrote a little note. Um, I'm gonna hang it up. I wrote, believe in art. Art is the expression of the soul. I think it really goes well with the theme of this place. Um, what did you write on yours? I put, live life to the fullest and travel while you're young and able. What did you write on yours? So we're gonna hang our message here. Do you want to hang yours up?
the dreamscape and that was super neat they've uh they had a lot of stuff in there that you wouldn't think you could make art out of i guess there was a continuous theme throughout it there were things to read and sounds uh i mean recordings sound recordings that you could follow and we didn't uh -huh. really uh I guess we missed that at his introduction. I know he mentioned something about wherever there was a moon icon, but we uh, didn't catch that. So we started we, catching on towards the end right of the what very was going end. on. Otherwise, the art was really impressive. Was and to very... see some of the creativity that people put into or have. <laughs> this is our daughter, Savannah. She joined <laughs> us today. And for Dreamscape, we were able to get our ticket for about $14, $15 each. And then for our daughter, she was a student, so we got hers for 12. So it wasn't too much, it um, was about $42 total. Yeah, so we're gonna move on for today. I think we're gonna go over to the Leonardo Museum next. So for those of you who aren't familiar with the Gateway, the Gateway is a large open air mall. It used to be more popular downtown in Salt Lake City, but then um, another mall, outdoor mall, open that's called City Creek and it became more popular <clears throat> that one has more high-end stores um, but here at the gateway it's always been my favorite it there aren't as many stores anymore like there used to be unfortunately um, there used to be more businesses in but they do have a Dave and Buster's which is a fun evening out for a family if you wanted to bring the kids down and have dinner and do some um, arcade games <clears throat> and then as I was saying as we were saying dreamscapes is a neat place here they do have the planetarium Clark planetarium is a neat place to go down here um, and they have a discovery museum which is more geared towards children so we we didn't stop there today and the Clark planetarium uh, I just don't think we'll have the time but they do have um, some neat IMAX films there and stuff that I've been to before so I would definitely check those two out if you have kids or if you have a family and you're coming down to the Gateway. <clears throat> um, overall, the Gateway though um, is not somewhere you'd spend a full day, um, but it, I would, they've got restaurants and stuff, so if you wanted to have an evening out with the family, it would be a good place to come. Hey everybody, we're here at the Leonardo in Salt Lake City. It is a museum here, they've got a flight exhibit going on and um, so we're gonna go in walk through see what they have come join us yeah come see what they have to offer So I'm really excited today because they have an exhibition on flight and I uh, I went to school for a few semesters studying um, aircraft maintenance and so I'm really interested to see what they have in here because um, I love airplanes, I love air travel and everything related to it. So the part of the schooling that I went to was the airframe, which is the outside of the aircraft. I didn't ever get into the power plant portion, which would be um, engines and everything, but had I gotten into that portion, uh, these are the kind of things that I'd be working on, these engines here. Eventually, I hope to go back and be able to finish out um, and get my actual license to be an aircraft mechanic. So Savannah has decided as her very short time as a pilot that they have a very stressful job. They do. 
<laughs> I, I could not do that. <laughs> That was the uh, Leonardo Museum. Uh, they did have the flight exhibit going on and that was really neat to see. Savannah got to be a pilot for she a little did. bit. <laughs> yep. Super fun. She did, she doesn't recommend it. Nope. <laughs> it's a fun move to. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us here in Salt Lake today. We are gonna say goodbye now. We're gonna head to dinner. So we hope you all enjoyed these two museums. And um, please remember to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Um, share the video so that we can get a following. Really helps us out. Um, Until next time, live for today.